Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing and today I have for you the March Monster Bass Unbagging. Now before we get into that, last month's winners, we had uh, Shizzle Sticks 66 won the Strike King Series 4 and Adam Lassiter won the River to Sea Junkyard Jig. So both of you guys uh, send me a Facebook message or Instagram message, um, preferably Facebook, and uh, we'll first acknowledge on this video that you got, you know, that you're aware, and then send me a Facebook message or whatever uh, with your address and all that fun stuff. But let's get into this unbagging. Uh, today's unbagging will be trauma shears. So they're not cut in to the bag. Guys, I have some tournament videos coming out. Um, the wife and I are pretty much over COVID now. Still got like a little bit of uh, leftover residuals going on, but um, for the most part, we are back out active um, and, you know, I'm back to fishing. I was supposed to miss that tournament because of COVID, but we had Snowmageddon happen here in central Arkansas and they canceled the tournament anyway. So it pushed back and I was actually able to fish it. So I have several tournament videos coming up. And if you're new to the channel, um, you know, tournament videos for me, I put them out regardless if I do well or I zero. So uh, I think there's learning points to be um, gathered from both of those. So anyway, let's get into this because that's why you guys are here. So this is the Monster Bass Bassmaster Classic bag. So every bait in this bag won a Bassmaster Classic. So think about that for a minute. I mean, these are guaranteed tournament winning baits. Here's the bait card. It has a picture of KVD on the front. Bassmaster Classic winners. Um, it's, like I said, the bait card, so it goes into what's in here. And uh, so let's get into it. First off, there is a Strike King KVD Silent 1.5. All right, so. Strike King KVD 1.5 and Phantom Red Craw, which is a perfect color for this time of year. I love, absolutely love throwing red anything right now. Chatterbaits, crankbaits, I mean, you name it, you know, lipless. Red is what I'm throwing right now for the most part. Unless it's a jerkbait, then I'm throwing white probably, like a, a muted colored white, but whatever. Different video. Uh, so here you go. Dives three to five feet, KVD 1.5. Square bill right there. And it says here that he won the 2011 Bassmaster Classic on the Louisiana Delta by throwing that and uh, bounced it off stumps and shallow cover. Next is Berkeley Trilene XT. Berkeley Trilene, 12 pound mono, 300 yard spool, enough to do more than one reel. 12 pound mono is pretty much about the biggest mono that I use. So I will definitely end up using that. Next up, oh sorry, the uh, the KVD 1.5 comes in at six bucks, and the Trilene XT comes in at eight bucks. Next up is the Berkeley Powerbait Chigger Craw. Oh, so hold on, let's back up. So this says Berkeley Trilene XT, but the thing says Berkeley Trilene XL, and so it says we're so excited to include Berkeley Trilene XL in this month's kit. So we misprinted the name on the product description card and we'll, while we're sure we can think of some clever way to spin it, we'd rather just own up to our own mistakes and apologize. So we're sorry. To help make things right, we're giving you $5 off your next purchase of $10 or more at Monster Bass Store. Won't be able to apply it to a discount to a subscription, but it works in everything else. So that's pretty sweet of Rick and those guys. And then here's the thing about the Berkeley Chigger Craw, which happens to be the next bait. Now I've thrown Chigger Craws before. They are killer. It, it doesn't really have much of a, like a, you know, floppy, wavy arms like, say, like a Rage Craw or anything like that. It doesn't do that. Um, but, you know, it's more subtle, right? Which is kind of what you want to do anyway when you're throwing this time of year. If you're, if you're dragging a jig, man, I don't want to tear this open since I'm, I might have given this away. That and these things smell horrendous. Um, but anyway, so it's kind of got, like, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a crawdad, right? Four inch green pumpkin, and there are nine in this bag. And these things, like I totally believe that the fish hold on 18 times longer because 
These things stink. And uh, I do know the fish will swim away with these things hanging in their mouth. So that's that. Comes in at five bucks. And this was used by Boyd Duckett on Alabama's Lay Lake in 2007 to win the Bassmaster Classic. All right, the Gambler Baby Bacon Rind. That, that's not it. The Gambler Baby Bacon Rind. This is it. Okay. Uh, Davey Height used this. Texas rigged in the 1999 Classic on the Louisiana Delta. So... It's a, it's a creature bait. And... It, it smells like garlic. I still have a diminished smell and taste, but it's coming back, so you know I can smell some of the baits. I'm not going to taste them. Hopefully, fish will though. So that's the Gambler Baby Bacon Rind. Texas rig Gambler Baby Bacon Rind to win the 1999. 1999 classic on the Louisiana Delta. Okay, next is the Stanley Jig and the Hale Craw Worm. Okay, so the Stanley Jig and the Hale Craw Worm. All right, this is actually pretty cool. The Stanley Jig, now this is in assorted colors, uh, and this is 3 16 ounce. So the Stanley Jig was used to win one Bassmaster Classic. And the Hale Craw Worm was used to win a Bassmaster Classic. And then a Stanley Jig with the Hale Craw Worm was used together to win a Bassmaster Classic, which is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, it says that um, Guido Hebden used a 3 16 ounce and a cross style uh, trailer to win the Classic on the Virginia's James River in 1988. And then I don't remember who won the next year. I think it was Hank Parker won the following year with just the craw worm, like just flipping it. And then in the early 90s, somebody won with the combo of throwing these two together. But anyway, that's that. So the craw worm is pretty unique. This bait, like they don't, like they quit making this. And Rick was able to convince the company to get back into making these again. And um, I mean, that's pretty cool if you think about it. So now they're making these baits all over again. The bait is out of retirement, being sold on Tackle Warehouse, and that's pretty cool. Now, I saw these things before, and my first thought was that's hideous and that I would probably never buy that. But you know what? It's already won a Bassmaster Classic. So really, who cares what I think? Um, it doesn't really matter what I think. It matters what the bass think. And, uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool if you think about it. Like, this little non-flappy, wavy arm guy got it done. Twice. Once by itself, once behind a jig. So, I mean, that's pretty sweet. There are ten in a pack, and it's watermelon seed is the color. So this is, I guess, a combined thing. So the Stanley Jig and Hale Craw are uh, are ten dollars combined so that's pretty sweet next up the stanley tapered needlepoint hook it says lonnie stanley's legendary reputation as a tackle designer began with the stanley jig and continues with the tapered needlepoint hook um so there it is this is a four pack sorry a five pack of three aughts needlepoint hooks so there you go MSRP on that is $5. And then here's the one thing that has not won a Bassmaster Classic. And this is the Monster Bass Hammerhead Alex Rudd Edition. But that's a dope pattern. And I will definitely want to throw that Juice Craw. Is this silent or is this rattle? I think there's a point in having both right now, silent and rattles. Yes, it does have a rattle. Man, I dig that thing. Good job, Mr. A. Rudd. You designed a, a pretty sweet bait. Uh, MSRP on that is 15 bucks. And then the last thing is the Monster Bass reusable bag. So I'm really glad Rick did this because 
I mean, I know I reuse bags all the time. Um, I think it's so much easier for me to sort, like put, you know, worms in one, craws in another, swim baits in another, etc. Instead of just like boxes, this takes up a lot less room. And if they get wet, this is a lot easier to dry out. MSRP on that is, that's a bonus. 15 on this. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So that's that guys. Quick recap, run back through it again. We got two crankbaits, both pretty freaking sweet. Strike King and a Monster Bash brand. Two crawbaits, one brought back after retirement, and then one that's still currently active, and you can pick these up at any tackle store. And like I said, I already have several packs of these. These things work. I know for a fact. Actually, all these things work. I know that for a fact because they've all won Bassmaster Classics. One other pack of soft plastics, the 4-inch Gamblers, bacon rinds, a pack of hooks, and some line. Oh, yeah, and the Stanley Jig. That's that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll list everything right here along with the grand total down below. Don't forget, everything in this box, with the exception of that Monster Bass brand, has won a Bassmaster Classic, which is, you know, the Super Bowl of bass fishing. You, you don't get any higher than that. FLW Cup, or Forest Wood Cup, depending on what you want to call it. Red Crest now, but Bassmaster Classic is still the pinnacle. Um, anyway, so... If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down there. It looks like me holding a fish. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below which bait intrigues you the most. I'll give away at least one of these. I don't know how many I'll pick. Just like these other ones. Um, I don't know. I just use a random comment picker and I just pick. And uh, this time I decided to go with two. I think the month before I went with three. Anyway, I don't know what I'll give away out of this. A um, couple baits, whatever or even the bag, if you want the bag. Drop a comment which bait intrigues you the most, which bait you would want. I'll use a random comment generator picker thing, and then next month's unbagging, um, I'll announce the winner. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, get on the water, be safe, and go stick some limbs.